What is going on guys? Welcome to day 16? 17? 17. Welcome to day 17 of Project 365. If you guys watched a video a little while ago, uh, well I got these glasses by the way. Ben is here. Yeah. Um, those kind of fit well with that shirt. If I saw you walking on the street in Hollywood Boulevard, I like wouldn't think twice. I'd be like, oh, normal. Ben just landed in LA. He woke up at like four this morning to come to LA. Why did you come to LA? To see my favorite flavor of ramen. I don't really know what we're doing today. He's super tired, but that doesn't matter because I'm not. So I'm going to force him to do fun things with me today. So much has happened since you've been here last. I have to show you around. Since the last time you were here, I got a HTC Vive, the virtual reality thing. Don't know what that is. Come now. Come, come now. I show you. Ben has now entered the world of virtual reality. This is what he's seeing right now. You've never used virtual reality before. Nope. How, how are you feeling right now? You know, kind of scared, but like... I like it. I told him that we made that for like the center of the room so he knows always have his foot there. I set him up with a game that doesn't require walking because walking with virtual reality takes a lot of getting used to. This one he's literally just like standing and shooting things. <laughs> You're aimed right at me. <laughs> <laughs> This was worth every cent of the $500 I paid for the virtual reality set. Oh I'm surprised you're still alive, to be honest. That's right. Ah. <laughs> you are dead. Come here! Is that how you fight? <laughs> <laughs> you have beautiful form, Ben. <laughs> I hope my neighbors can see us through their window. <laughs> it looks like you're swimming. <laughs> hey, that guy just told me he doesn't like a YouTube channel. What are you gonna oh, do yeah? <clears throat> yeah, what's up? Oh my god. It's kind of like a sick twisted game, huh? I know, it's... Oh, I lost my hammer. Oh no, oh no. Here we go. Oh, you're gonna die! You're gonna die! <laughs> so every now and then, I get boxes randomly delivered to my door, and sometimes they're for brand deals, sometimes they're things that I ordered a while ago and forgot about. Sometimes they're things that I have absolutely no idea what they could be. That's this one. It has my name on the label, so it's from Amazon, so I could have ordered something. I always like to film them, just in case it's something cool. It's very light. Oh, yeah. I got Taylor a bunch of pepper sprays. <laughs> hey, you want me pepper sprayed so we can test them out? Um, no. Some of you guys may know that Taylor walks dogs for a living. She does that rover thing or whatever it's called. She always carries a knife and her taser on her, just in case, you know, someone sketchy tries to approach her or something. A taser, you have to be within touching distance of them, which could be sketch. If it's a guy with a knife or something, you know, they're probably going to win. I decided to buy her three defense spray advanced formula. Number one brand used by police protection against multiple threats. I got her three of them. Someone tries to attack her, she can be like, and shoot them from a distance. And if you get pepper sprayed, you're not you're not gonna enjoy that. We just walked outside and I was like, all right, where'd you park? Cause I we're trying to go get food and get the day started. Little did I realize, or I didn't remember that he flew here. He doesn't have a car. So we have to Uber everywhere. Who needs Uber when you have electric skateboards? Ubers were so early 2018. You ate shit once, right? Yeah, we were filming another video with them. Yeah, last time, uh, the first electric skateboard unboxing video I did was with Ben and he ate shit. I have no idea if you can hear me cause of the wind. Efficient. Yeah, it was actually. My question is who goes to get Mexican food and gets one taco? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know how they get it here. First time. Oh. You got nervous, so you got the easiest thing on the menu. I'd like one taco, please. You may have only gotten one taco, but it looks like a pretty damn fire taco. We successfully made it to King Taco on the electric skateboards, which it would have been like a 10 minute drive to get here, and it took us probably what, like 10, 50 minutes to get here? On the skateboards. And we had more fun. And we had more fun. They're just as fast, if not faster, than cars to get places, because you can just weave in and out of traffic, run stop signs, run red lights, do super illegal things, but no one's gonna pull you over because you're on a skateboard. They're faster. Now I have to go all the way back home. So for once in my life, we brought water to the skate park. It was Taylor's idea, not mine. I would have forgot. It's extremely, extremely warm. This is helping cool us down. 
Ben's behind the camera right now. We're probably just gonna skate until we pass out or decide that we're done skating. Whichever comes first. Ben's really, really good at front crooked grinds, front side crooks. He's gonna try to teach me them. I'm gonna try to do them because I can do them for a little tiny bit. I learned them pretty good at Nigel's Park the other day. So check it looks really cool that I suck at. So we're gonna work on those. We brought four waters. I was thinking ahead. Except we've been here for five minutes and one's gone. All right, Ben, first track front crook. Right. Why'd you leave your water in the sun? It's in the shade. Oh, okay. Front crook that ledge, front crook that ledge, front crook flat bar, and then front. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I, mean, no. I was just gonna say start with one, but if you're feeling that, go for it. Oh! <laughs> Off to a good start. Great start. Oh! Okay, there's one. Can you make two? Oh! Okay. Keep it going. Oh, I flat bar in half. Okay, where's the fourth one? Get this little ledge right here. Oh, not bad. High five. Oh god. I'll tell you that's gonna be a good day. Obviously, Ben got one warm up. He messed that first one up, so I had to make the playing fields even. I'm lying. Ben won the front crook competition. I lost. I think it would be fun to see if you can do a longer one. Well, I mean, Ben can obviously do the longer one, but what I'm trying to say is we're both working on front crooks, okay? I might just win 80 out. We tried it for like five times off camera and we're passing out. Ah! That was it! Whenever you don't land it, you can just blame it on the heat. Honestly. Oh, hat down. Gotta go. <laughs> It. Just think about it this way. If you do it this time, you don't have to try it again. I know, but if I feel like it, should I just big spin out? I mean, yeah. Oh, wow! Ow! That was it. <laughs> think yeah, colder. I'm nervous. Think colder. Snowing, icicles, igloos. Of course, the one that he falls on is the one that my camera says, movie recording has been stopped automatically. It's like a weird issue with my SD card, but he fell and hurt himself, but he's okay. He's gonna land it now. Isn't that right, Ben? What? You're gonna land it now? Sure. Ooh. 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 Big spin out, but whatever. Ben had to go above and beyond. He did the front crook 180 out. Almost landed the big spin. Skateboarding is all about progression. I try to learn a new trick as often as I can. I'm gonna try to learn a front crook variation. Oh! Are you kidding me? This is how it always goes when I learn a new trick. I get really close the first time and then it takes a fucking hour. I'm only asking you guys one thing. If I land this one, actually no, if I just land it in general today. It's only my third try. If I land it today in this video, please, Drop it a thumbs up. I want to try to get 4,000 thumbs up for this video. Oh, I got into it. Oh. I barely slid it back. I don't care. I slid it more than an inch. That's all that matters, right? Oh, man. Props to me. It was in shorts. I never skate in shorts. I'm pretty sure in the 45 minutes, an hour we've been here, we just got what, one trick? Yeah. Sick. Super productive day today. Let's go home. Yeah, empty, 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 empty. They're all gone. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Ow! I just get down the curb. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! My, my camera pressed this thing. Alright, guys, so by the title of this video, you can probably assume what the video is about. Let me give you a little bit of backstory before I explain the story. That didn't make any sense. You guys know the story of Bun Bun, the little tiny bunny rabbit that we have. Bun Bun, hello, hello, hi. Do you want to come out and play or are you going to stay in there all day? If you want to come out and play later, just let me know, okay? Oh, you're so cute and soft. Taylor and Lexi found the bunny rabbit outside on the street. It was when it was super rainy out in LA and they find a bunny rabbit just 
in in the backyard, like by the dumpsters. Had you seen it like around before that? The neighbors that I had talked to um, said that they've seen the bunny before that it just like hops around here all the time. It was a poor little stray bunny rabbit that Taylor captured, took it to the vet, got its vaccines and tests and everything, and she was clean of everything. I told you a story of how we checked for Craigslist ads, there's nothing, so we've been housing here ever since. Funny story is, ever since we moved in, six or seven months ago, there's been this stray dog. When I say stray dog, I mean like stray dog. Like, it, it's probably been a stray its whole life. It's been living on the street, on the sidewalk, sleeping like gutters and stuff since we moved in six or seven months ago. I'm sure it's been living in the streets much longer than six or seven months. One day, I was playing Fortnite, and sure enough, I come home and there's a dog inside my house. I guess pretty similar story. Taylor and Lexi brought the dog to the vet and I wish I had before and after pictures because, well, I mean, she still looks pretty ugly now. In a cute way. She was infested with fleas. Like, if you looked through her, her, through her fur, it looked like an anthill of fleas. Like, you could just see them scurrying around everywhere in her fur. She had lost a lot of her fur from them just eating her, and she was bloody and scabbed over, and she was probably gonna die soon. They take her to the vet, they give her a flea bath, flea medication, shots, vaccines for everything, and she tested clean for everything. She didn't have rabies or anything like that. She got fully vaccinated, fully cleaned up, and now she's been at our house ever since then. But here's the catch. We're not allowed to have pets, and the bunny was already pushing it, so we are gonna find her a home. Taylor doesn't want to bring her to a shelter, because she's afraid they'll euthanize her, which is probably true because she's not like the prettiest dog, so I don't know if she'd get adopted, but she's really sweet. This is her. <laughs> Hi! I wish you got her earlier when she was smiling and running around. Come here! Hi! This is Benny. I don't know how Taylor came up with the name, but that's her name now. She's five years old. Her stomach is dyed black from sleeping on the pavement for so long. Like, it's literally like a tattoo of just asphalt. Like I said, she's flea-free. She's very happy that she's inside and she survived the heat wave. You can kind of see, like, on her back how she's super... She has super thin hair and it's she's all scabbed over from fleas. Yeah, she's flaking a bunch. Like, she has dog dandruff. She really is very sweet, and she likes us. Taylor had been feeding her every now and then for, like, the months that we've lived here, and at first, she wouldn't get near people. Like, if she saw people, she'd just run away. And then slowly but surely, she'd, like, take the food after Taylor set it outside, then eventually she'd come up to Taylor, and now look at her. <laughs> now she's just enjoying life. She looks kind of dirty and gross, but she's clean. She gets shampoo baths and flea baths, and her hair is slowly growing back, and her ears are really soft and fluffy, so maybe when her hair grows back all healthy, that's what she'll feel like. Her hair literally feels exactly like my head. <laughs> like, crusty curly. <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it. We definitely should have gotten before and after pictures, because she looks much better, and she's still doesn't look that great. She has a really good personality though. She's camera shy. She's not used to being in front of a camera. It's okay. Taylor took over to Lexi's to play in her backyard because she has like a big grass backyard and now she's kind of dirty and has grass all up in her so we're gonna give her a bath to help with the fleas too because there's still a few left over. She's on like flea medicine pills too. Oh, uh, there's a doggy stretch. Benny, come here. Come here. Go into the bathroom. That probably feels so good after living in the streets for so long. All of those little flakes are just dead skin because her skin was her skin was like completely dead from all the fleas. It's gonna take her a while for her body to recover from all the damage that's been done from them. We have like moisturizing dog shampoo and flea medicine and everything. She's actually handling the bath really well. She's handling everything really well. Benny just got done taking her bath. She handled it really well. She was like perched up with her arms <laughs> spread so we could just like scrub her. She's cleaner now. She's still flaky, but that should go away soon. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the process of us finding her a home because if one of you guys live in this area and need or want a dog. Oh, well, now you're playful, huh? She's trying to dry herself off. There you go, get it all over my bed. We're gonna wait for her to be in a little better health condition, wait for her fur to grow back, fur, hair, whatever you call it. Wait for her skin to moisturize, and I'll keep you updated on her progress. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up, and like I said, we're going to Tahoe next week, so the videos are going to get very fun. Peace out, and see you guys tomorrow. She looks so girly. Benny, can you say goodbye, and I'll see you tomorrow? Bye! <laughs>